reading from Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 from the NIV. In the past God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways but in these last days he has spoken to us by his son whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom also he made the universe. The sun <coughs> is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Jesus told the Jews in John 8, 58, I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. They knew very clearly that he was saying that he was the Son of God, that he was in fact God, because immediate, they immediately attempted to stone him. We've read the first few verses of Hebrews that make it clear that if we want to know what God is like, we must look at Jesus. But when Jesus said, I am, he meant so much more than that. He said in John, I am the good shepherd. I am the true vine. I am the way. And we will be considering those during Advent. But today we simply look at the words, I am. Am. Jesus is the one who is eternally present for us. It's not I was, nor is it I will be. It's I am. As we come to Jesus today and every day, he is all that we need. If we have a need, he is the one to whom we can come. He is our port of call, and he is that today. Jesus does not so much say, I will be for you. He says today, I am for you. Jesus is one who so often talks about our life in the present Give us this day our daily bread. In the Old Testament, Joshua said, Choose you this day whom you will serve. Paul said, Today is the day of salvation. We must come to Jesus today. Do you have a need today? OK, we have purely physical needs for which there are solutions, but when it's deeper than that, we come to Jesus because he is who we need when we have that difficult conversation. He is I am when circumstances are in danger of overwhelming us. He is also, he is who we need when we have a health issue that is not being resolved. I don't want to say more than I am because I'll be encroaching upon another day's devotion. But I want to do want to say that he is the I am whom you need today. Jesus is the exact representation of the Father. In him we see God in human form. And he of course demands our worship, but he also makes himself available to us today. It was in the Old Testament that we were introduced to the words, I am, when God told Moses that that was his name. Moses didn't know the name of God when he was making excuses for not obeying him. And God told him to tell the people that I am is his name. Now it says in Hebrews that Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever but I think you will find Jesus usually says I am he is the I am 
today for you. He is the I am today. Don't make him your I am tomorrow. Today is all important. How we act today is vital. The other day I read a prayer of Dietrich Bonhoeffer <clears throat> when he was on death row in a Nazi prison. Restore me to liberty and enable me to so live now that I may answer before you and before the world. Lord, whatever this day may bring, may your name be praised. Amen. So, Jesus, God himself, is with you now, ready to hear from you. He's sitting beside you in the car, with you when you walk the dog, when you have to make that difficult decision, the unseen guest at every meal, when things are going wrong. He's sitting beside you on the sofa watching TV and when you lie down to sleep. Jesus, God himself, is ready to hear from you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, grant me the faith to know the presence of Jesus with me today and the humility to ask him for my need today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.